and welcome to Ganesh's new channel. So today we are going to discuss how we can solve partial differential equations. So there are so many types of partial differential, differential equations but today our topic is Lagrange's linear partial differential equation. So what is it means how we can say that this form is basically Lagrange's linear differential equation. So let's have a look. Here you need to solve this this differential, partial differential equation. But let me introduce you um, with Laplace differential equation, partial differential equation. If you have got something in the form of capital P small p, capital Q small q and R, this is the form of Lagrange's linear partial differential equation where you know that p is partial differentiation of the function with respect to x and small q is partial differentiation with respect to y and the constant, the coefficients whatever will be given to you in your question will be p, q and r respectively, okay? Let's begin. So here, firstly simplify this. This is your small p, x square z q y square x right now you can see that this is in the form of Lagrange's linear partial differential equation your coefficient of p small p is y square z so this is your capital P coefficient of small q is x square z so this is your q and in right hand side something which is in the form of variables x y square okay now what you need to do there are three steps to solve these type of equations first step find out dx by p dy by q and dz by r step number one put the value of find out pqr and put into this form. Okay, so dx, p is y square z, q is x square z, and r is x y square. Right? Once you will be done with this, what you need to do, you have to solve, you have to equate these and find out something in the form of u and v, means to another function, and put them as 0 or put u in the form of another function. What does it mean? Let me tell you. First of all, equate these. Either take first, second or second, third or first, third but make sure you will get everything in the form of only one, one variable. What, the, what do I mean? So I am taking dx by y square z first two functions. Okay, and thereafter I am taking first and third. Why? Let me tell you. You can see that uh, z is cancelled here. You will get x square dx and y square dy, right? And here you can cancel y square. It is x dx and z dz. Now, what we can do here, we can integrate to remove these, right? And to get a function in the form of variables, not differential operators. So, what I can do, let me write it, let me grab it all stuff. So, your x square, if you integrate this bit, what will you get? Integrating both sides, add one power, divide with it. Similarly, here you will get this and constant c1, right? So, take it to left hand side. You can take three common, so x q minus y q will be three c1. Consider it another constant, three c1 altogether. It may be a, it may be c2. 
let us let us take it a so this is your one function let's say it is u okay this is your one function if you take this and integrate it both side integrating both sides what will you get add one power divide with it z square by 2 plus c2 take it to left side take two common 2c2 you can consider it b so this is your another function let's say it is v okay this is your v now these u and v are you have got now what you can write the step number 3 is once you will uh, you will be able to get your functions then step number 3 step 2 was to get the functions step 3 is put the functions in this form this is your complete solution or in this form right so your u is this x cube minus y cube your v is x square minus z square don't consider constants only the function this should be zero or else what you can write x cube minus y cube is equals to fv x f of v so d this is your solution i hope you understand this method how you can solve it i will discuss one more form where where you can apply some different technique but for now if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel and till my next video take care of yourself bye bye